So uh, there, there are solutions to what uh, we are discussing. And uh, I think uh, if we look at history, what has been uh, important is to own the means of production. For example, in the Industrial Revolution, what was important was to own some machine to be able to do mass production. And this is the same situation that we have right now, uh, except it's, it's, it's with AI. So the means of production will be the AI agents and the AI nodes. So let's say that we one, one solution would be to, to build decentralized AI or decentralized AGI. And in that way, the, the AI would be owned by the people. That means that if you have, because we expect the cost of intelligence to, 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 to be reduced by a lot of, by a lot. So it will be difficult for humans to compete against the AI agents because you will have AI agents that are able to, for example, just use a keyboard and a mouse and do any task that a human can do with a keyboard and a mouse and by watching a screen. But it will be able to do that at, in a way that is highly efficient. So one solution to all of those problems, or almost all of them, is to own, to have the people owning the AI agents. Then you have an agent that is working for you. You have an AI agent that is, for example, an NFT, so it's belong to you. It's increased in value in time because it's rare, and you have much more and more demand for those. And also, it produces an income for you every day. Produce an active income, and it needs, of course, computing power. And of course, you you have right now Elon Musk and OpenAI and so on uh, that have that will have huge computing power. But I think the computing power should be in the hand of the people. And the way to do so is to say the I wanted to say uh, decentralized learning by AI is possible. It is called federated learning. Yes. It is just like not very common. And like there are challenges, of course. But it is possible. And I do agree. Like uh, even NVIDIA is trying to uh, provide more GPUs to people, to researchers uh, who cannot afford it. But still, I, I agree. Uh, like it is, un un like it is not very feasible that you know one person would have like one hundred thousand GPUs, like or well, you don't need to. You don't need to because you have people that can use. Every person can use its own computer. Yeah, definitely. And but it, it comes with like uh, the challenges of like getting those people to be synchronized with you, and the same way that any decentralized uh, platform. Well, that, that that is done via blockchain, of course. You create the AGI blockchain to do that coordination of the AI agents and the AI nodes. The yes. blockchain take care of that. Yes, but blockchain needed people to actually believe in it. And I'm and, and and, just and, saying and like AI is the same. The, the, re, the result, well, you have a solution. Right before, before I spoke, you had no solution. You had a lot of problems and you had no solution. I'm offering you a solution that people should own the means of production. We are owning the AI agents and the AI nodes operated by an, an AGI or AI blockchain that operate everything and that ensure that the resources and everything is distributed with fairly. So you, we have a solution. And also those AI agents become trackable on the blockchain because you, you can assign to them a hash. Via, for example, I own AGI.eat. I could create subdomains and assign a signature to every of those AGI agents or AI agents. Then they become fully trackable and they become fully accountable. We can track everything. So that solves a lot of problems for governance and so on. If you think about that, it's decentralized AGI that solves mostly all of the problems that we have right now.